This is the Philippines Super League All Filipino Conference 2015. Ito ang volleyball. Or there you can see the lineup for uh, the Lady Stallions. Ito ano the solid first six of Coach Mai, got to be no mabayad. Argrim, Jendrali, Praka, Gustida, and Cordell. So same lineup for Coach same. Mai, Prochina. Now we can see the starting six for Kona Tornados. Champion and Jen Parin yung the three towers nila, no? Si Champuzon, Araneta, Lastimos, and of course your um, every reliable Makatuno, and Patio in the in, a strong outside hitter, and Ivy Remulia, who's a really good locker. Now you can see Nicole Kimzon on your screen. Isa to sa mga players ni Coach Villet Ponce de Leon na talagang uh, kailangan mag perform. Nang, yes. uh, maganda ngayong hapon na to. Oh, nga. So ngayon, ito nang si Arin Argarin. No? She's serving. So backliner siya. Tatlong frontliners and strong hitters meron ng Lady Stallions. Argarin goes to Tobino. Dug up. Pantalyon will set it up. They go back to Lastimosa and that hits the line. So vote on Tornados. Cross first blood. Alam mo ito kasi yung ano si Lastimosa, I think her goal is to hit the end line so that to confuse the backliners na isipin nila na outside and it worked that time. Bad reception, Cortel will go to Hendrauli. Heading off the block. Makatuno, pupunta kay Lastimosa ulit, block. Easy ball over, Tiamzon. They go to Lastimosa, and the easy over works for them. Ito si Lastimosa score the point when she was in the open. Tapos ang ganda rin ang palo niya sa cuatro, and then now she's coming from the middle. She's all over the place and getting the point for the Photon Tornadoes. Well, the PLDD Home Otero Philippine Super League All Filipino Conference. <laughs> Ani Roy Subino with a down the line hit. You know, she wasn't uh, in the game the last time because she had a lot of if I'm not mistaken, in her province. So I'm sure Min and Tail, Lady Stallions, are glad to have her back. Itong si Rowley, parang she wasn't in position yet, pero ang lakas ng kamay, yeah. ano? Parang wala nga proper takeoff. Oh, oh. But nevertheless, she was, uh, she adjusted very well to that set. Bayad, soft hit. You go, go back again to Lastimosa, and that was effective going through Subino. Ito si Lastimosa, alam mo, ang gandang energy yung dinadala niya sa team niya after she creates a point, talagang jumps up and down, no? rallying the team up to keep it to keep their momentum going. Well, passion is contagious, so kailangan na maghawa-hawa sila dyan. Oo. What a hit by Royce Tubino. That was a, I think that was the perfect height for her. She loved that ball. Well, let's take a look at this. Ultra Fast Spike is brought to you by PLDT Home Altera, the Ultra Fast LTE for a happy family. Tubino goes to the service line. Nice good serve from her. Makatuno again goes to Lastimosa. Soft hit. Dug up and set to Hendrauli once again, but that goes out. Oh, iniwasan kasi ni Jen Rowley yung blockers eh, na sobrahan naman sa pagka-wide, so that went outside. Chiki, do you think kapag ganyan, na medyo off yung set or mali yung timing, would you rather try to spike it o talagang iwas-iwas sa blocker? Kung off position ka na talaga, mm -hmm. i-over mo na lang and then risk na your opponent makes the mistake. Kung off na off ka na talaga. Uh -huh. Pero if you can still jump and hit that ball, aim for an off the... Hit blockers points. Targets Lastimosa, Makatuno tries to tip it in, dug up, and one to attack doesn't work. Saved by Bangladesh. That was a good hit by Justino. Justino, talo yun. Natawa ka ba sinabi ko yung full name niya? Medyo nalitulid ako eh. Okay. 
But take a look again at this power hit by Angeli Raneta. That was too much for Danica Hidrauli. Rustilo, <laughs> nice off hit. Raneta will set up Yamzon. Oh, that was a. Uh, what was that? Out of That's, timing, eh? Uh, but it was a good middle hit mm -hmm. there. Alam mo, kailangan yun ng gawin ni ano, eh, Argarin. Set up the middle hitter to free up the wing spikers. Kasi Gustilo can, you know, can uh, draw in uh, the blockers. Tapos ibigay niya kay Praka. Ah! Kailang sayang na service error si Praka. Ah. Well, you know, this was their problem in their last game, uh, last uh, Wednesday, or Thursday, rather. Uh, I think they they committed at least 10 service errors. Wow, so costly. Uh -oh. Argarin will, of course, go back to Tubino. Tubina gets that over, but dug up by Orendayen, Lastimosa. And that was too much for Honey Royce Tubino. Actually, yun kasi ang weakness ni Honey Royce Tubino, eh, yung reception from the back line. She's a very good hitter and blocker, but when it comes to reception, kailangan talaga alalayan siya. Well, she has been the target here in the first set, but that one went to Lendrauli, and that will bring us our first technical timeout. Photon up 8 to 5. Denise and Chicky, it's a new day, new game, at nakapag-move on na rin ang parehong kupunan sa kanilang huling mga laro. Now, similarly, nakausap ko rin itong si Royce Tubino kanina tungkol sa kanyang sitwasyon at ang sabi niya na she has somewhat moved on. She's emotionally and mentally prepared. She didn't let her personal matters get in the way of her volleyball. Now, although tatlong araw siyang hindi nakapag-training kasama ang main and tail dahil nasa Zamboanga siya, tinuri niya itong spiritual at emotional training. Balik sa inyo. Thank you very much, Mitch. Well, we do know it has been mentioned during the past game that she went through you know uh, an unfortunate event yeah you know so nakausap ko rin si coach Mai actually kanina before the start of the game at sinabi niya na hindi naman daw yung loss ni Honey Royce yung naging problema na the last game pero overall yung skill wise daw emotionally and mentally hindi sila gano na ka dedicated sa match na yun oo kasi you know Honey Royce to be no is a big factor for main and tail but you have to understand ang daming games in the past Honey Royce was there but they still lost so it was really yung ano eh, uh, coming together of the skills yeah. of the team, yung talents, communication, and following the coach's instructions. Well, it is true that one man or one woman at this uh, this point can be a crucial ingredient, but it cannot make a team. At that last time, si Pam Lastimosa, number one go-to girl ngayon ng Photon. Alam mo, parang itong main and tail, nagkakagulo sila in the court. They have to rally each other up, get together, talk, and... Uh, have a good first ball. In the past few games, bihirang bihira nga maka, makahawak ng bola kasi mabayad. Oh. Si Argari, no? She's so uh -huh. much smaller than Rimulia, pero yung stare down niya after yeah. winning that joust. She had the better timing at that last play. Oh, I know some uh, coaches say it's not really about the height, uh -huh. but it's the timing yes. on how you hit that mm. ball. That was perfectly timed by Tubino, oh. and no one was there ready to get that ball. Grabe, everyone was looking at each other, wondering if they would get the ball. Kaya nga, sinasabi ng mga coaches, mag-mine kayo, agawan kayo sa bola instead of letting it drop on the floor. Well, let's see if they can do a better job. Dawson to serve. Yamzon, Makatuno will go back to Orinda in and she scores. Patty Orinda in who started playing volleyball at when she was in grade five. No grade five, she's five four na siya. We'll take a look at this ultra fast spike. Is brought to you by PLDT Home Ultra, the ultra fast LTE for a happy family. That was a good hit again by Orinda in. And you know itong si Orinda in when she was in grade 6, selection na agad siya sa palarong pambansa. Oh, wow. Yes. Well, so, meron siyang smarts, volleyball IQ. Well, she is Miss Reliable and you can rely on her all the time pag mga crucial situations na. Argarin will go back to Tobino. Tobino down the right and hit. But that one goes out, says... The lines oh, yeah. yeah. It was outside, said the referee. Oh, 
Matuno finding a target. She goes to Cortel. A power tip doesn't work for Lilette Mabayad. I think that was too far from the net for Lilette Mabayad. And parang ano, no? basang basa na ni oh. Ivy Rimulia. Makatuno, good serve. Dug up by Dawson, saved by Agrin, winning the joust. Makatuno will go back to Pamela Simosa. And why not? Oh, nga, hot na hot ngayon si Pamela Simosa. Why not go to the high percentage player? Technical timeout, Photon up, 16 to 17. Nisha Mashadung nag, nag uh, put out ng numbers. Who do you think will have to, you know, take the or take the responsibility for that? Well, of course, you've got to have somebody in the court who will be the energy bunny. And usually, yun yung setter, di ba? Pareho naman tayong setter yeah. before. So, tayo yung tagatawag ng place. And then, I think, marami namang pwedeng puntahan to eh. Like, sa Samantha Dawson, si Jen Drowley, si Amad. Sometimes itong si Amad, when you give her the ball, soft yung hits niya. Pero may mga angles, kaya hindi nakukuha ng kalaban. Oh yeah, it's all about adjustment. At uh, ngayon nga, umahabol ng ocho. Let's see if they could adjust. Ahmad, soft hit, dug up by Tiamzon. Makatuno goes back to Lastimosa, soft hit. And Gendrauli sends it over. Lastimosa, easy over from Arendayen. Dawson cleans that up. Balik tayo kay Ahmad, huli pa din. They will go. To that quick play or combination play for La Pam Lastimosa. That was a good combination play. Ang sabi nga ni May makatuno kanina eh. Makikita daw, maraming, marami tayong makikita ang combination plays like that. A powerful hit by Lastimosa. Benten, getting ready to serve. Cortel, targeting. Well, that was too high for her. And now, si Remulia naman ang nanalo. Kanina, di ba, uh, si Argarin at si Remulia also battled at the net. And Argarin got the first win. Now, tayo na sila. <laughs> oh, they've been targeting Cortel. Well, that was a better hit from uh, Royce Tubino. Where were the blockers of Photon? They have to be more aggressive when Tubino is in front. We got Lilette Mabayad serving. Saved by the net, yeah, so Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. It's a good thing. It's a good Good hit. Katuno saves it. Easy ball from Lastimosa. Kinuha ni Hendrauli. Babalik kay Argerin. Balik kay Hendrauli. And she scores. That was a good play by Argerin. Halos ano yun eh. Um, a, a low quattro. Kala mo, ano na siya eh. Um, look at this. It's such a, a back set na parang a quick pero hindi. At partida siya pa yung kumuha nung uh, first ball. The Wonder Girl does it again. That alam mo, yeah, alam mo mas mabuti na yung hinahabol na hindi mo nakuha kesa yung pinabayaan yung bola na hindi nakuha. Yeah, that is of course what the coaches would want to see every single time. So, yes. Ay kita mo, ito si Coach Mai, kahit nakatayo na siya sa gilid, eh, relax na relax pa din siya. Oh. <laughs> siya yung coach na so, ano, ano, mahinhin uh -oh. talking to the team. You know why Argarin is always having a hard time at the net? Because the first ball is not good. So, upo muna si Len Cortel and pasok muna si Nori Jane Diaz. Well, let's see if she will try to target si Diaz naman who's uh, off the bench. Goes to Dawson. Argarin, go back to Gendrauli. Adjusted. But, net violation committed by Lastimosa. So, you know, at least, kahit na may ganong classic errors itong uh, photo, they are up by 8 points. Oo, oh, okay, uh, kahit paano, pwede pa, no? Pwede mo pang pagbigyan yung ganong error. 
And that's a good ano, sight there by Lastimosa. Pinabayaan niya yung ball because she knew it was going to go long. Lastimosa, targets to be, no? Or get in, nice quick play. Flaka, and it works. Yun nga eh, that was a good transition play. Kailangan talaga maganda yung first ball mo para maangat ni Argarin and set up the middle hitters. Kasi yun talaga yung first option mo eh, di ba? Quick, para quick point. Well, defense should be your first line of offense. So yun ang kailangan ng uh, main and tail ngayon. Nice race from Jen Drauli. That's a good strong hand there. Our Kaliweting Jandrauli doing good job so far. And another one. The low one service aces ni Jandrauli. Alam mo, sabi nga ni Coach, May, uh, Coach Villette during that break na kailangan may communication ng photon tornadoes kasi short balls lang naman itong kay Jandrauli so they have to make the proper adjustments. One stop lang yan ang hinihingi ni Coach Villette. Demzon blocked. Wants to attack for Makatuno. Dug up. They go back to Praka. Soft hit. Dug up again. Makatuno goes to back the line hit from Lastimosa. Cleaned. Dawson not over though. So point goes to the Photon Tornadoes. Kailangan taasan pa yung set for Dawson because that was too low for her. Tim Zon with a short serve. And an ace for Photon. Kailangan pakita lang nila yung ang pa-pressure dapat dito yung Photon eh. Oo, correct. Kasi in the standings, mas mataas ang Photon. Let's see Dawson, soft hit, dug up by Orenda in. Makatuno goes to Araneta. That doesn't work. They go back to Gendrauli, who's been doing a good job. Makatuno running attack to Araneta, soft hit, and finds the donut hole. Ang smart nung play ni Araneta. Talaga namang that uh, soft dip was targeted in the front line. Eh, ang iniisip siyempre ng main and tilt's defense is a strong running hit. So na off position to Luisi Argarin doon for that soft touch. Nice block. Argarin, go back to Tobino. And... Um, I, yeah, I don't think that was a hard hit, though. It wasn't, pero ang ganda nung angle. Mm -hmm. Kaya hindi naagapa ng ano, defense skills ni Lastimosa. Sorry din naman siya agad. Well, set point for Photon. Easy over. Argarin goes to the quick. But that was too low. Makatuno. Again, going back to Rindayin. Dawson cleaning it up. Gendrauli going back to Dawson. Pupunta si Makatuno kanino kay Araneta. And it cleaned up. Malag tayo kay Miss Reliable. And huli pa din. So this is a long rally. That's Buhay pa rin. Yeah. Wow, good defense by both teams, ha? Ang tagal ng rally niyon. There was movement, but super quiet on both sides. Yes. So kailangan talaga mag magusap tunda lo ang teams oh. nato para parehong sila ng stress. It was a long rally, pero wala ako makita na yung intensity, eh, no? Oh, oh, oh. Abi Praka, soft serve, saved by Lastimosa. They will go back to Wonder Girl, and again she does wonders for her team.